Hello everybody. Oh, but my phone's a bit white. Hello everybody and welcome to our super seated exercise today. It's Wednesday morning and as usual I have my chair, but I have somebody who's resident on my chair. Yeah, she saw me coming in. She thought she might like these cat treats that I have in my hand. Did you like them, Boo? <laughs> You'll notice how woolly she's become. First job when lockdown's over is get my dog back to the shape she used to be. Because you look like a sheep, don't you? And she's just so covered in mud all the time. Well, hello, Mum. Hello, Carol. Boo, Mum, Granny's there. She's on the telly. <laughs> Good welcome everybody. So today's um, super seated exercise, we're going to work on general mobility and warm up. So we're going to go top to toe on that. And then when we've done that, we're going to have a little focus on arms today. So if you have got your hand weights or your tins of fruit or vegetables, whatever they might be, have them with you because we're going to do a little bit of that. And depending how time's going, we may do some balancing. But I want to really work today on a kind of top to toe loosening up of everything. So I've put my kind of chill music on. And if you've got your cup of coffee there, hello Sam, hello Veronica, hello Alison. If, if you've got your cup of coffee there, you'll have a chance to slurp that during the class. And we're going to work on loosening up, particularly our upper body, um, which for a lot of us and our back, that gets a bit stiff. So we're going to get going with that. So I'm just going to turn the music up just a smidge. Welcome everybody. I love your dog. I know Sam, she's just gorgeous, isn't she? Morning Tester and Boo. Everyone say hello to you, Boo. As always, you're the star. <laughs> There you go. I mean, she's a little bit of manky, all this kind of mud from earlier down the field. Hey, messy, you're a mess. You're a mess. Right, we're gonna get going. I better get my chair back. <laughs> Mom, say hello. Don't you get? Good girl. Everything's covered in dog dirt now. It is, dirty dog. Right. So I'm gonna ignore her now. She stares at me until she realizes there are no more treats. So first of all, let's start with our neck and shoulders. Um, as always, right through the class, we're sitting forward on our chair, remember? So there's a gap between your back and the chair. Feet are nice and firmly planted. You've woken up your stomach muscles if they've been having a snooze. And your pelvic floor, you're absolutely right. So take a breath in. On the exhale, tummy in, pelvic floor draws up. Inhale again and relax. Exhale, tummy in, pelvic floor. That is lovely. Okay, let's get this mobility for the shoulders. So bring the arms up, bump your head if you can, and all the way down. And we were doing this in my regular Pilates class yesterday, or the day before, um, working at getting and keeping our shoulder mobility. Lots of people, and I'm guilty of this, will have the odd injury in our shoulders, and then maybe we just kind of stop using our arms. Don't do that. You've got to keep those arms moving. If it's painful, it's not getting better, go and see your doctor. Uh, but don't tolerate a loss of mobility because it's a real problem. As time goes on, it just gets worse. So nice circles here. As I'm circling my arms, I'm working my stomach and back, everybody. So it's not just the arms that are getting some movement in here. It's also the core. Good, one more. Excellent, okay. So let's do our usual one, ear to shoulder. Hold it there. Let the head really hang. Opposite hand can push away. Oh, I can feel that. All the way down the side of my neck. Head back up and the other way. Push the hand down. That's it. You can probably hear some creaking noises. We've got some terrible creaky floorboards, but it means I know exactly where my husband is. <laughs> push the heel of your hand away. Ear dropping towards your shoulder. Oh, well done. Same thing again. So ear down, push that hand away. Don't underestimate how important stretching and flexibility is. Um, especially if you wake up and you are a bit stiff in the morning. Spend five minutes loosening things up. You could just put this on or you could just write with a bit of paper the four or five things that work for you. Put it by your bed. And when you get up in the morning, before you've kind of embarked on the day, have a quick stretch. Good. Chin to chest. Down it goes. Hold it there for me. Sucking your tummy muscles in. Drawing that pelvic floor up on your exhale. Head comes back up. And again, down it goes. Tuck your chin. Back of the neck is stretching through. Excellent. Arms come out in front. Round circle. Push them away. 
tuck your chin. For those of you who just did the wake up class as well, this is a lovely way to stretch out those muscles that we've just been working. Tuck your chin a little bit more. Ooh, good, hold it there. Breathe, bring your head back up. Keeping your hands where they are, little rotation. One way, then the other. And I want you to do this with real concentration. So feel what your body is doing. Notice where you've got this tightness. There's a little bit of problem with my Wi-Fi signal today, everybody. So if you do lose me, stay with me, I'll come back. Tuck your chin. So again, back of the neck, stretching through. Good, and again, rotate. Little twist, and the other way. Nice and smoothly. Good, arms come down. Oh. Take it behind, I'm just gonna hold. Let me turn around so you can see. I'm gonna hold the sides of my chair, sitting really tall, and just to, somewhere near the back if I can, and I'm gonna push my shoulders back. Oh, big old stretch. Now, I was looking yesterday for some more seated class exercise ideas, and I heard on the radio also a lady in a wheelchair talking about how hard it is to find good exercise classes for people who are seat, either bound to a seat or, to, or a wheelchair. Good release. And she's got some lovely little videos. That she's a young lady who lives in York, and she does some lovely videos um, for people who have got mobility problems or just don't want to be standing. So I'm going to share a couple of those on Facebook this afternoon. <coughs> Excuse me. And they are really lovely. Hands behind. Good workouts. Push her shoulders back. And if you know someone who is in a wheelchair, she does some really good outdoor exercises as well, including kind of circuits in the wheelchair. So, um, you know, there's no excuse, I'm afraid. <laughs> and also found a lady, oh, give us a shout out, who's an injured athlete. And she's doing stuff, very intense seated stuff, so I'll share that as well. Okay, let's get to this middle now. Take a breath in. Tuck your chin, push your spine back into the chair, and up you come. And I think what I, one of the main things that I kind of learned from seated exercise and from wheelchair exercise is one, there's no excuse, and two, you don't need much space. You only need the space of your chair, don't you? You don't have to have loads of room. It's possible to exercise in a really small area. One more. You're gonna have a little lean forward. Open those knees a bit more. Lean forward, back to come. Now I'm keeping my back really straight. Now for those of you who wanna make this harder, all you have to do, guys, this little sequence, I'm going to turn my chair around. It sits sideways on your chair. Okay, so when we roll back, oh look, we can go loads further. And then we go forwards, we can lean further. So you get that extra, oh make sure you don't slip off the chair though, all the way back. And you don't have to hold onto the chair if you feel safe. If you're still doing it the normal way, that's absolutely fine. But it's just another way to change things up. One more time. Good, brilliant everybody. Okay, I'd like us to work through the side a little bit now. So get to the back of your chair. This is not elegant. And we're going to bum shuffle forward. So I want you to lift your buttocks and bum shuffle towards the front of your chair and then bum shuffle back. Okay, let's do that again. So shuffle, 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 shuffle. And back we go. And the thing about this exercise, I know it doesn't look great. <laughs> it's like, mm, but it's really fantastic for hips and weight, waist and backside. When you come forward this time, hold it there for me, and we're going to have a little side bend. Hold the chair if you want to. Little side bend, and the other way. And I'm letting my hand dangle to make it harder, but you can keep hold of the chair. And then we're going to bump shuffle back. Come on, let's all do it. Bump shuffle. <laughs> All the way back. Once we're going to get back here, we're going to do a little rotation. So arms up, little twist, little twist. And you can do bum shuffling on the floor as well. Lots of fun. Here we go, forwards. Forward to go. That's it. What do we do here? Side bend. Down you go. So if anyone's got, you, if you're with someone else and you're both doing the bum shuffle, well done. <laughs> Hopefully you're not being embarrassed by it. Here we go. Bum shuffle back, yes, and then let's twist, there we go, good, well, we'll just do that one more time, 
Hopefully no one's finding it too excruciatingly embarrassing. Are you ready? Before we go, rum shuffle. Oh, all the way forward, good. And then we did our side bend, didn't we? Side bend. And the other way. Oh, big old stretch through those sides and back. One more. And just bum shuffle halfway. So we were, we're back to where we started. Hips, we've already done a little bit with the bum shuffling, but now we're gonna do a little leg open and return. Nice and gently. Some of you will get your leg much wider. If you can do that, by all means do. Don't do that if it means you'll never get the leg back in again, because that, that's gonna be awkward, getting you out of the house, isn't it? The paramedics will struggle getting you through the doorway. So just take that leg as wide as you can. I find this leg goes further than that leg. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna repeat this leg. So I'm gonna repeat the one that finds it tougher. Good, let's do four more. You choose which leg you wanna do. Three more, tummies are working hard here, everybody. Two more. One more, nice, good. We're gonna take hold of this knee. Now, if you've got a band or a tie or something, you can do that. So you just literally pull it up, which is easier on your arms. Or you lace your fingers, up it comes. So, I, and what I did there, I saw myself do it. I'll show you what I did. I did this. I don't want you to do that. So get hold of your knee, don't lean backwards. If that's too much of a strain, sit right back and pull the knee up there. But I want you to stay straight. So up comes that knee. Oh, give it a good pull in. Tummies are working? Yes, Tessa, our tummies are working. Other leg down we go, put it up. So really good for everybody here. What we're doing is getting a massive stretch to our lower back, round our hips as well. Well done, guys. Oh, release that leg down. And let's just a little bit for our knees, so a little lift and lower. Nothing, soon, nothing too difficult there, a little lift and lower. You might have really heavy feet, so in which case you take it easy. <laughs> and again, lift and lower. Last one, stop there, rotate your ankle round. Back round the other way, down it goes. Other leg, up you come, round we go. Back round the other way, good. Have a little pause, I'm gonna change the music now, uh, because this is way too airy-fairy, isn't it? Let's have something a bit more fun. Let's have a bit of this. There, a bit of disco. How about that? That's better, isn't it? Good, okay. So, get a hold of your hand weights. You can do this seated or standing. I'm gonna stay seated, but you are welcome to stand for this section if you wanna work that much harder. Okay, hand weights down beside you. Now, the main thing here is not to whack yourself on the chair. So my palms are facing in. I'm gonna put bicep curl and down. So you're gonna come up, down. Now, this is gonna get tiring. So what you can do is just put your weights down. You don't have to use them. Good, okay, let's go. Now, keep going, but I'm gonna change it slightly. As I come up, I'm twisting my wrists. So I'm bringing the palms of my hands towards my shoulders. That's it, but still flat to my legs. Good work. Okay, one at a time. Here we go, just one. One, and I'm resting the other one on my knee. Good. Then we're going to do the other one. And it's a lift, lower. Good. Now this would be great if that's all we were going to do, but obviously it's not. Lift the leg, down. Now if you're using weights and you want to work harder, put your hands near the tops of your legs and let the weights rest on your knees, above your knees. And then look, you're lifting not only your leg weight, but also the hand weight. Good. Okay, now one leg. I'm gonna do three, two, one, down. Other leg. Three, two, one. Good. Arms. Three, two, one. Other arm. Three, two, one. Now guess what's gonna happen? Okay. Just do an arm for me, this one. Three, two, one. And now, opposite leg, two, one. Arm, three, two, 
one and leg. I think maybe we should do four. Oh, Boo's coming back. Hello, darling. You fed up. <laughs> Hello. Here we go. So it's four. Three. Hello. Two. And then let's do that leg. I know, darling. It's funny what humans do, isn't it? They just think, what are they doing? Now guess what's going to happen? Arm and leg at the same time. Four. Three. It's hurting. It's tiring. Two. One more. Oh, how's that leg? Give it a rub. Okay, I'm sorry, we have to do the other side. So let's just start with the arm. Breathe. Let's do three, two, one. Then just the leg. Three, don't lean backwards. Two, one. Just the arm. Three, two, just the leg. Three. Now, do you think we can do them at the same time? Let's do fours. Here we go. Four, three, two, last one. Oh, ho, ho. give your thighs a rub. Sit back. Did you all feel that? Forgot about the arms, didn't we? Good. Leave those legs having a rest. Pop your weights down just for a second. Put them out of harm's way. I would like you to give me a little beautiful prayer position. So look very, very good, because you're all very good, aren't you? Breathe in. Exhale, arms come up. And they come all the way down, slow. So we're working our arms again. We're not using weights for this section, because we don't always have to. And I'd like you to keep pushing your hands together. Push them together. Oh, and this should be feeling this in your back, everybody. Up we go. Good, down you come. Now next time, just bring them up a little bit. Tuck the elbows in. Tuck the elbows in. Oh. Now I'm really trying to work my stomach muscles. And again. Okay, now we do the long one all the way up to the ceiling. Here we go, slow. All the way up and down. And then we do a couple with the elbows coming in. Let's do four, three, two, and then we're going to do a slow one again. Here we go, slow, up, oh, down. I can really feel my back working there, in a good way. Here we go, four. Now you could be doing this sitting back against your chair back if you've had enough. Okay, one more time. Here you go, tummy's tight, up. Oh, and down. Good work. Four with the elbows coming in. So this is stretching our back, strengthening our chest and arms. One more. Oh, I can really feel the fatigue there. Can you guys give me a shake out? Okay, we've got a few minutes left, just a couple. Let's get to our feet and finish off with a little balance. So watch you don't fall over your weights. Bring yourselves up. I'm just going to tilt the camera. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Betty. Hello, Christine. Hello, Deb. Right, everybody. So, simple balance. That's all we're going to do. Choose your favourite leg. That's my favourite leg. Other leg comes up behind. We're going to go for a 10 second balance. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest. Good? Not good? Other leg. So you can hold the chair. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down we go. If you found that easy, we're going to add to it. So everyone else on one leg. Those who found it easy, knee comes up. And then you're going to take it back where it was. Knee comes up. Oh, tummy's on tight, everybody. Back where it was. Good, let's change legs. All the basics need to be in place. Tummy's on, staring straight ahead. Pelvic floor woken up. Okay, so either stay here or bring your knee up. Take it back. Now I am uploading all of these classes to YouTube. YouTube is just a, a website and you can get zillions of things on there. You can, you can waste your life on YouTube. But I have got a YouTube channel called Get Fit With Tessa. I'll put the link on the bottom of this thing. And all the videos that I've done are on there. Bring that knee up again for me. Good. Can you pop your hands here? Whoa. 
Okay, so just a little left, a little lower. And the beauty of YouTube is if you know somebody who's got a computer, doesn't matter whether they use Facebook or anything, if it, if, and on that computer they can access the internet, then they can get YouTube. You don't have to join, you don't have to do anything other than watch. Let's do one more. And they can access all these classes. So please do share them. There are literally hundreds of my classes on there and lots of other stuff besides. One more time on this balance. Those who have been very, very ambitious. Let's see if we can get the hands a bit higher. Oh, do you remember that exercise we did at the beginning? Let's just do that again. Both arms up high. It's difficult, that's really hard. Let's change legs. Option to make it slightly easier, toe on the floor. Shoulders back, here we go, lift up. And down. Leg on the floor if you can, lift up. And down, fantastic. Give yourself a shake out, sit yourselves back down. Very, very well done everybody. I hope you enjoyed yourself there. Um, a lot of work for the upper mobility for our upper back and shoulders and arms and we did quite a bit of thigh stuff as well didn't we um, if you've got any questions or queries contact me otherwise i will see you again next week same time same place for our another seated exercise let's take a big breath in exhale one more big breath in reach up high straight straight stretch Excellent, fantastic everybody, well done. Don't forget to take part on the online, so on my Facebook page, I'm putting on a little picture which says, um, Feel Fab February, that's what I put. <laughs> and underneath there, people's ideas about what they're doing that's making things better. And honestly, if you take one idea out of that every day, it'll be a positive thing to do, especially if you're feeling quite lonely and miserable. So um, get on there, and I've done a little video as well, so have a look at that too. Um, seeing the dog always helps, doesn't it? <laughs> so thanks everybody. Made it, Christine. Well done. Thanks, Carolyn. Thanks, Carol and Joan. Have a good day, everybody. And I will see you next week for this class and all the rest of the timetable that's all on here. Oh, thanks for the love hearts and summers, everybody. Have a good day. Lots of love, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Pan Sam. <laughs>